Hi, Elizabeth. Can you tell me how muscular dystrophy has affected your life? Hi, my name is Elizabeth. I'm 15 years old and a student at Troy Athens High School. I was born with SMA, which stands for Spinal Muscular Atrophy, and is caused by a lack of survival motor neuron. This is a protein that's a key for muscles to move and the development of it. I have type 3, which is one of the least severe ones out of 5. I was born without SMN1, but I have two copies of SMN2, which is why my case is less severe. From other people's cases, depending on the severeness, um, they might need more assistance, um, like a walker, wheelchair, or braces. SMA has affected my life because the neurologist was able to diagnose my SMA after performing nerve test, a, mu a muscle biopsy, and genetic testing. Genetic testing is what determined how they were able to catch that I was missing SMN1. I started going to the muscular dystrophy clinic in third grade, which there I see a whole team of doctors, nurses, physical therapists, dietitians, and others. They help to keep keep kids along with the families to support the diagnosis of and beyond. And I actually have an appointment tomorrow, so. There are medical trials for medicine to help many types of muscular dystrophy diseases. Luckily, the first medication for SMA was approved right before I was diagnosed. Every four months, I go in to have a procedure done, which is a spinal tap and they inject the medication, which helps reduce the likelihood of my muscles weakening over time, which is what helps me be mobile in life. How does burn boot camp play a role in your diagnosis of muscular dystrophy? Burn has helped so much regarding having muscular dystrophy. First of all, I love that there is a mod to a mod to a mod for literally every single exercise, especially on leg day when I can't do the exercises. Having a physical limitation is hard, especially when there is no physical indication that I have a physical limitation. I love that Burn is so accommodating and willing to go the extra mile to make me feel more included and make everything easier for me. Coming to Burn has also made me a lot stronger and actually like working out more. I used to despise it. I thought only my family would understand that I can do things, it just might take a little longer to reach the milestones that other people hit quicker. I am also on the high school swim team and making the choice to join was hard for me because I thought I would most likely be the, the slowest one. That would be so embarrassing at the time. I thought it would just be like too mentally draining for me to join as I would constantly have to remember why I was slow. Two months later, I started attending Drylands, and then my mom made me come to Bird and meet Jen because she's the, also the high school swim team coach. Now that I've come for a while, I love it. I, I knew I really couldn't back out at this point because I'd already been too far into like meeting people going to dry lands and like working out. What would our fundraising from Muscular Dystrophy Association do for you? Fundraising for MDA will help families all around the country feel like they are not alone. It'll make them feel like they have support groups to go to. Money will also go to families like mine, come to a diagnosis, and it will also go towards care and advocacy for families. What is your favorite protocol at Burn Boot Camp and why? I love arm day and I also like push and pull which is also kind of arms and for some reason speed and agility is kind of fun. I don't really like running so I hate that part but I also just like constantly moving. There's no mods that have to be taken place on speed and agility which I, I also like. Well, having SMA does affect my whole body. It especially affects my legs which is why I hate leg day more. But, you know, I still show up. What else would you like to share with us about the importance of fundraising for the Muscular Dystrophy Association? Your support will go to MDA, which also goes towards helping kids like me be able to go to MDA camp and have the best week ever without having to worry financially. At camp, we do very accommodating activities like 
tree climbing, and it's really fun. And we also do arts and crafts, and we spend lots of time at the beach because the camp is also on Lake Huron. We do some sing-offs, and um, we do lots of dancing. There's a really fun dance at the end of the week that we all get to come to conclusions with for the end of the week, and it's really fun. My favorite part of camp, though, is the free ice cream that we can get any time of day. The motto for camp is camp is for the campers, meaning you get everything you want at camp, and it's so fun. It's the best week ever.